In this video, we're going to look at how to prepare your screen to make a cookie cutter using Autodesk Inventor. This Autodesk Inventor is from a 2015, the professional 2015 version. Uh, your version, if it's older, may be a little bit different, but a lot of the, the ideas and concepts are the same. So Autodesk 2015, we are going to open a new part. In this step, we have to make a background to insert a picture on top of and that picture is going to become the basis for a cookie cutter. So we're going to quick make a 2D sketch. This is all a new part. And we are going to draw a rectangle that's 2 inches by 3 inches. So I can draw this. I know I have the little boxes, the little windows near the uh, bottom of my screen and to the right of that rectangle. I'm going to type in 2, press the tab button, and then 3 and then I'm going to hit enter. And this gives me my rectangle is two inches by three inches. I'm just going to extrude this by one quarter inch. So I'm going to press finish sketch. I'm going to go over to the word extrude and I'm going to type in 0.25 on my keyboard. Okay, so I have a little rectangle. It's quarter inch thick. This is just my background to make a cookie cutter. Now I'm going to draw on one of these big sides. So I'm going to click on that large side. I'm going to go to the right icon that says Create Sketch and click again. And something that we haven't really used much in class is the Image command. So I'm going to click on Image and I'm going to find a picture that I have saved online that I want to turn into a cookie cutter. How about it's a Yoda kind of day. We're going to open up this picture of Yoda and we will turn him into a cookie cutter. I can click anywhere on the screen, the picture should appear, and then I'm going to right click and say OK. Now to resize or to spin this picture, an image in Autodesk, all I have to do is click on the corner. And if I move my mouse to that corner, it just highlights, and I can click, and I'm holding my mouse button down, and I can either just resize it, or if I move my mouse button, I can resize it and turn it. And I think it's going to fit better this way, so I'm going to click that way. I'm just going to drag it and put it right in the middle of that rectangle. Okay, let's see what that looks like. I'm going to turn this, zoom in. All right, perfect. You are done with step one on your journey to make a cookie cutter using Autodesk Inventor.